I had no idea what I said yes to. Whenever I'm in a plane over Alaska, I'm always astounded at the vastness of the area and the beauty of the land. That nature and that beauty is what draws me outdoors. I just jumped in with all feet, doing something you never wanted to do in a place you never wanted to go. So I thought, okay, let's give this a try. I'm a city girl, girly girl kind of person, so throwing me in the middle of wilderness really does not make sense to anybody who knows me. In July of 2016, six women gathered in Cordova, Alaska at a fly fishing school for women taught by instructor Pudge Kleinkoff. We learned how to cast, catch, release, and conserve. We became Rosie's River Girls. This is our story. We are about to head to a little place called Humpy Creek. We're going to have the first casting lesson and get ourselves going. We're just going to stay here for some casting. It's pretty flat. Yeah. We've got this off here. I think it's interesting how she takes everybody right where they are. She's very patient. But she's very exacting. <laughs> she's a patient, exacting woman. <laughs> she's a delight. Cast in just a different place because it looks like you're bringing it in OK. Just I love Pudge. She has found her calling. And it's very exhilarating to be around somebody who's found their calling. Casting, for me, is the hardest part. You know, and it's not just the rhythm, it's becoming loose, finding your own way, but much there to help you because there is a right way. A little slide, rock tip up. She is encouraging. Rock tip up, we're gonna do it this time. Good. You gotta just you, really flow with it. So it's going to, what's happening is going to come out here to get a little more line out, but then you're going to grab it again. Okay. Because if you let it slide on the back cast, oh, your yeah. entire cast will collapse. And then it gets caught in my hat like earlier. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah, we can do that. No, we couldn't. No, we're not going to do that. Now, the first afternoon, that's the time we're going to tie the knots. And by the time I get done with them, they can all do them. And every once in a while, I'll have a woman, and she says, it's really cool because these guys standing next to me the other day said, look, she can tie the knots. <laughs> and then they just sparkle and you know, think that that's just really great. She's hoping you're going to love the sport as much as she does, and yet find your own way within it, wherever that's leading you, whatever your purpose is on the river. If you got to practice. That's going to take a while, you know? Wow, lovely, look at But the that. main thing is, are you having fun? Very nice, ladies, very nice. <laughs> wow. Made our day. And then things start to click. I'm knocking on your door, I know you Gee, hello. <laughs> oh, with oh, 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 how fun was that? That was so fun. Now we got it. Okay. Look at that fish. Look at that, Nancy. 
God, that's one of the biggest pinks I've seen oh in a long Lord. time. That is gorgeous. Yes. Oh. <laughs> oh, I did it. Yeah. Oh my God, that feels so good. <sighs> I realized that with the fishing that it just appealed to all that. Loving being outdoors and getting dirty and having adventures and being on your own with a group out, you know, in the water. Good job. Thing. That one I did totally by myself. That's the first time I ever did it by myself. How's it feel? Exhilarating. <laughs> yeah, just incredible. Very independent. Oops. Now you're yeah, a lady like of the river. Now I feel, oh, woo! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did it all by myself. Good right. girl. It was a good day for catching. The best part of it was just being uh, totally enveloped by the landscape. It was just all encompassing. And it also makes you recognize how small and insignificant you are. You are knee deep into the environment, literally, in the river, looking at these beautiful mountains, a little mist. It's, un it's unforgettable. I mean, it is really as much of what I love about the fishing as the fish. A very important part of who I am as a woman, and especially as a mother and a grandmother, I feel extremely, um, I feel an extreme urgency that my grandchildren recognize the fragility of our environment. And that if I don't teach them that there isn't anyone else, I, I can't let anyone substitute for that. Few things get me off in another world more than standing in a beautiful river. I think you have to relax and let it take hold of you. You're talking about renewal. You just kind of do it peacefully and quietly and lovingly. Every time I catch a fish, it's still almost like it's the first fish. I, I love doing it and I love seeing other people do it. There are many cathedrals in nature and I find it a really important place to restore the soul. <laughs>